Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Mac Minute. I'm Mike Myers and this week we're going to talk about something that's brand new and actually probably familiar to a lot of people, you just don't realize it. It's called a full screen app and in the Mac you can now do a full screen app. And this is different than just a maximized app. You've seen them many times where the window takes up the whole screen, but what they've done with uh, this version of the Mac operating system, this is uh, Mountain Lion, is they've made the ability to make an app truly full screen, no window at all. It works. If you use an iPad, you're used to using them. That's how everything works on an iPad. When you run an app on an iPad, it runs in full screen mode, same way with an iPhone. So you don't have a close or minimize button. It's basically the whole window is the app, and the Mac can do that. So I actually have some things running right now. Uh, let me actually go in and kill them because I want to show you how to get started with them. So here I am at my desktop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Safari. First thing I'm going to do is bring up Safari. And one of the things when you bring up these windows, you see this little arrow up here. You know, the green maximizes the window, so you still see your window maximized, you still have your border, everything like that. So that's not what we mean by a full screen app. This little button here puts it into full screen. So you see this little double arrow, and when I do that, all of a sudden the window goes away. You are now in a full screen app. Now I'm going to start another one up. And I'm going to see, let me open up, let's open up Notepad, for example. And you see it has an arrow. So I'm going to make it a full screen app. So now I'm in Notepad, full screen. So if I scroll on the mouse, I'm going to use a mouse, two fingers, and I'm going to scroll to the left, I'm back to my desktop. So if I scroll to the right, I'm back to the full screen. If I scroll to the right again, I'm back in Safari. So this is exactly what happens whenever you're on an iPad. If you have multiple applications open, you can take three fingers, scroll left or right, and go back and forth between the apps. This is exactly the same thing. They are really, truly starting to move some of the iOS features into the Mac, which scares a lot of people because they think that you can't use a Mac like an Apple or like a touch device. I tend to agree with that. Uh, it's why I do not use Launchpad, but it doesn't mean that some things like this aren't very cool and very uh, easy to get around. And plus, if you've only ever used an iPad or an iPhone and you're just moving to a computer, then you, you already know you can do it. It's, it's something you already have. And it's done on a trackpad on the mouse, on the trackpad on the laptop with four fingers. Take four fingers, instead of two with this, take four fingers and you just scroll to the left and to the left, just like that. And if you use Mission Control, you see at the top up here, it looks a little different. Instead of being windows down here, because they're not windows anymore, they're actually in the full screen app mode right up here. So there's my notes. And again, I can scroll back and forth. Four fingers there, two fingers here, just like so. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, some people don't necessarily like full screen mode. Um, I don't use it a lot because I have typically using a really big screen with many things open. But if I'm on my laptop, I sometimes do tend to, especially when working on documents, to keep it in full screen mode. It keeps my distractions down from other things that are coming up on my screen and it just gives me a little bit more real estate to work on the laptop screen. So that's it for the Mac Minute this week. Um, next week's subject is, I don't know. Don't know, I'll have to figure it out. I think we're gonna talk about notifications, I mean about uh, messages next week. I think that's what's on the list. But we'll see you next week. Hopefully this is uh, going good for you and you're really starting to like the Mac now. This is 10 weeks in, you should be loving that thing. I mean, um, messaging, if you came from a PC, it's probably sitting in the trash can by now, but uh, nothing against PCs, of course. I'm a technology lover, so I love everything. But, you know, Macs are great, so hopefully this is helping you out. Uh, tell us, friends about us, you know, sign up for YouTube, get the updates from YouTube, or sign up for a podcast like on iTunes, get it delivered automatically to your phone every week, so it's right there for that one minute of knowledge. Uh, you can also watch it on TiVo now, and we're almost ready with our own Roku app as well. So that's all coming down in the near future. Until next week, have fun with that Mac. Talk to you later.